All right, so this video will be me ranking up from, uh, I think it's Coronita's rank to Eris rank, uh, 3.84 uh, mil to the next reward. And this is probably the start of my journey, finally, to get Thanatos, which I'm only three ranks away from. So I should be able to get there sometime this month. And just show you guys what OP power my team can do. And then I'll show you the spheres that I have equipped, all the extra skills that I put on my units, and hopefully I won't get a loss in before I get lost. But I'm only 1800 away. Um, I'll jam a couple of times and I should be fine. It's a little laggy. Should be okay now, I think. Too much, too much game lag. But nevertheless, it is a win. So we're only like a thousand four hundred away now. Yeah. So it should be like two two gems at the most, three if we get really unlucky. RNG can be so bad in arena these days, especially with challenge arena out. And uh, speaking of challenge arena, um, that's getting reset I believe this Monday. So gonna have to climb back to legendary. Um, that should be tons of fun, at least starting in the original rank because no first strike all your units die every like three battles or something like that so it should be a lot more fun that way I think granted when we go back into legendary uh, I'd have to do the same kind of battles again and again which is why I'm actually doing my real runs now because um, it'll basically be arena month for me, uh, challenge arena and regular arena, so I just want to get that out of the way so I don't have to rank up. Getting ready for Colosseum as well, get that sky orb. And easy wins. Um, so everybody seems to be mostly using Rogan as their arena lead. Um, I think overall it's the best. Get an 80% attack boost and double hit count on all your units, which means more battle crystals, more damage, and you also get BB fill when you attack regularly. So there shouldn't be any problem using Ultor in your team, especially with the blades. Uh, really helps out. A second day sphere I recommend for everybody is Death Axe, so that way you'll get a guaranteed kill um, when he crits no matter what. Because Blades of Ultor already gives him crit damage and you know 50% uh, boost to crit at the start of the battle, uh, plus the 10% from Blades of Ultor actually gives him 70% total, which is the highest you can have um, in game. Especially on first strike. And I'd say he's a lot more uh, usable now in Arena because the issue with Ultor before would he sometimes you wouldn't get his SBB filled up, he only uses BB, uh, kills a unit, and he's the only unit on your entire team to Brave Burst, and then you die afterwards because, you know, it sucks when your enemy gets their BB, but now, you know, with almost practically guaranteed uh, Super Brave Bursts, uh, should be pretty, pretty good. Um, the reason I use Gatsia and Dulk in this team is 
as I'm sure you've noticed when I fight people who are ranked over me, namely Zeus and Thanatos ranks, which is, that's all there are, um, get a OP sphere at 4 mil called Sacred Staff. And what Sacred Staff does is it's basically an angel idol to all, um, to any unit that you put it on. And so you attack them and it survives. So it revives with uh, 1 HP and then it gets restored back to full. And then it can basically use its Brave Burst again. Or you can get really unlucky, all your units attack it like turn one and it's like no Brave Burst and then they kill your entire team and you're really sad. But it has happened uh, quite frequently, um, though RNG really does have a major factor to it. But I'm sure once I get my Sacred Staff, having three units with like Angel Idol buffs would hopefully make that RNG less RNG. <laughs> like my units would be less susceptible to dying, therefore I will win a lot more in those random like two, three, four, five percent scenario chances where I can lose. But for the most part, the team's pretty solid. Um, I don't really put any two-time hit attackers on it anymore, uh, namely units like Iris, Bestie, uh, Xenia. Uh, the only unit I put on it is Ragen because he is OP and you really need to use him for the leader skill. He has SBB which gives damage over time, uh, helps as well against the surviving unit. Um, you know, if his SBB goes off and that's the only one that goes off, you have a really high chance of basically uh, killing your opponent with just regular attacks anyway. It's almost like 100% guaranteed. And I believe this is the last battle. If we win this, we will get um, rank up. I believe we need to fight uh, Thanatos or Zeus anywhere. There we go. Fight the person right above me, EC. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, his team is somewhat similar to mine. You got Ragen, um, Ultor, Selena, uh, Dulk. Only unit that's different is Roa, and I can kind of see why you'd pick Roa, just a little bit. Uh, but I still prefer a unit like Gatia, uh, number one. Gatia has 45 cost, uh, which makes him tied right now at least with the highest cost unit in the game, Lucius. Uh, other thing is he's a mitigator, which means if his SBB goes off, um, and this happens, where your opponent basically gets to use their BB, um, you know, your team doesn't get completely wrecked, and you live. Um, the other reason why Dulk is good is he does like the same thing, except uh, he also has like element and crit negation, which is really good. Um, I got to, uh, um, is there because he also has a really good hit count 48 hits um, It's really hard to spark his SBB and stuff, but in arena. It's perfectly fine Extra skill is also useful for filling up BB just in case shenanigans happen or whatnot so I Think that's it So that's rank up to Eris so 160,000 points until the next rank.